we are now going to see four different projects that you can build with computer vision to make a farm smart. So everything that can be seen from a camera and all the information that we can grasp from the animals can be there. Let's go. Hi, welcome to this new video. I'm Sergio, I'm a computer vision consultant, developer and course instructor, and I help developers, startup founders and students to easily and efficiently build computer vision projects. I decided to make this video today because uh, the farm industry is one I got a few requests from in the past of some potential problems that can be solved with computer vision and I see that there is uh, a big margin for improvement in this industry with computer vision so I'm bringing you today some ideas and also we're going to talk about some technical aspects and not also will bring the idea but also will give you a ways to uh, like tips to to build uh, this type of projects with computer vision uh, if you're new to computer vision and you want to learn how to detect and track objects in the most efficient and fastest way i created a, a crash course which is called computer vision blueprint link down below it's a free crash course and where in one hour i compress my knowledge and i give you the right path to build projects similar to the one that i'm going to show today pysource.com slash blueprint a link down below in the description and now let's go to the four different project ideas to make a farm smart uh, let's start first with the most simple and basic project that you could build but still that it will be very very good for like a project to make a farm smart this will be animal counting so uh, that by detecting the animals uh, I'm taking this example where we have got, so we have one, two, three, four, and five. So in real time, you could detect how many animals are in this location. And this could be very useful to know if uh, all the animals came inside before a certain time if there are all if someone is missing and so on and of course this can be done for any animal whether uh, they are goats sheep even if we have a lot of sheep and we want to check them if they are crossing a specific area how many sheep we have uh, how many correctly cross that area cows pigs i mean any animal can be of course counted so this is a very basic project that it's the most simple to build and it's also quite requested uh, by companies. Let's now go to slowly something more advanced and more interesting. So after the animal counting, we have animal behavior recognition. And recognition of the behavior can be interpreted in different ways. One could be, for example, tracked the trajectory where a specific animal is going so if you want to know for example how many kilometers an animal uh, like ran in, in a specific area or like the the usual trajectory the animal animals go through or if an animal is drinking uh, at what time is usually drinking eating and so on let me give you a practical example using this scenario. Uh, let's see an example with this. So uh, of course it was a live camera but I took a screenshot so that I can draw and explain what you can do with such scenarios. We could first classify each single animal. What I mean with classify each single animal it means that not only we detect that this is a cow, that this is a cow this other one is a cow and so on for all of them but we classify them associating a specific id or name to each of them for example we know that this is cow a i mean you could even give a name to each of them if you're very uh, passionate with them uh, i'm using letter for simplicity let's say a b C and so on and you can do this with cows because the cow hide has specific features that other animals like the pigs don't have at least with the pigs it's much uh, more difficult to detect them but you see if we take for example these three different cows we see that 
this cow A has a specific design on the cow hide. So it's mostly wet, white with some black stains and all the stains, the, the features of the, the other cows are pretty different. So it's possible to identify them by name with a very good accuracy. Why would it be useful to identify them by name? Uh, for a few reasons. Let me give you uh, the first reason I'm switching to a new picture for this. The first one would be to identify how many times they're drinking. So we have a bathtub right here and uh, the cows drink a lot of water each day. Uh, I read something about one full bathtub per cow. So we have one bathtub right here. We could check what specific cow is drinking. You could store like the time in a database. Uh, so if you want to know how many times a specific cow has been drinking water each day. So A, B, C. And how can you do that? Let me give you some tips on the technical point of view. This is, let's let's start saying with that this is not the best camera angle to understand if a, a cow is drinking because the cow could be we don't really see the water here so the cow could be just here with the head but we don't know exactly when the cow is drinking or not we can suppose that when the cow is here and the head is tilted down so the cow is drinking or even better we could have a second camera somewhere here checking if the cow is drinking so with the second camera just close to the level of the water we will see the level of the water and the tongue of the cow if the tongue of the cow is going below the level of the, of the water we suppose that the cow is drinking and you can do both of these with computer vision. So with a single program, you can have multiple cameras that check if uh, this is happening. And you can do this. So object detection is uh, a simple task to do in computer vision. The classification is slightly more complex. Uh, so to, for the object detection to understand that these are cows, uh, can be done by training an algorithm to detect the cows. While if you want to classify each cow with a specific name as well, you should get pictures of the cow like from all the angles so that you understand uh, all the features of each specific cow and then train algorithm also with the pictures of each specific cow. Also, you could recognize animal behavior by following their movement. Again, this is not the best camera to recognize the animal behavior. So let me let me show you some other some other example to to understand the animal behavior. Uh, we have a few uh, pigs right here. So uh, we, you can see that this pig is lying down, is chilling, is I don't know, probably sleeping. An example of animal behavior could be understand how they behave if they follow some different patterns than the other animals. So if you track with a camera, the, the ideal camera would be placed on top so that you can see uh, very well all the animals, so like the maximum top view that you can get instead of being on the side tilted so that you can see all the animals from the top and you can track if each of them and you can see if someone of them has been sleeping for like 18 hours so that if an animal is hasn't been moving for all the time uh, you can see if some animal is afraid of the others so if the tracking shows that that animal is always uh, far away oh, so we take this as example you could like you could build a software for example that tracks a specific animal so this is pig a and also tracks the trajectory let's say that we are tracking the trajectory of the last 24 hours let's say that this pig has some problem and 
it moved only from this side to this side in the last 24 hours. So this will be the point of the trajectory that shows 24 hours. Well, let's say that this peak has been moving all the time. So the trajectory in 24 hours could be that he went uh, at the beginning here, then it moved here after one hour, then he went here, instead here sleeping for six hours, he came back like this and so this could be a trajectory, for example, of the second peak. And you could save like specifically for uh, for the tracking of each of them. And you can compare like the trajectory of each of them and see if some or like oh, you can make a comparison of, of the trajectory of all the peaks. And if some of them has some uh, strange behavior, you can check if something is wrong with that. Of course, this is just an example, probably not with the peak is not like the the perfect scenario, uh, but you can do again this with any animals you wish to track the uh, to track the behavior. Now we talk about a bit about the counting about animal behavior detection. Let's now see something else that was requested quite a lot by a few companies and i want to show you but the first project idea is to weight an animal in specific case again we are talking about a cow because that's what is usually requested uh, to weight the animal by the size so it's some um, something that is done with either an industrial scale or it's possible also to get the weight of the cow only by measuring its size. And the good thing with computer vision is that we could do this by just placing a camera so that in real time where the cow comes close to the camera can be weighted. And this can be done uh, real time for a lot of cows if that's necessary. How would you approach this problem with computer vision? I'm going to give you some ideas first of, on how to place the cameras and also how the program should be. First, it will be ideal to have, I will say at least a couple of cameras. So a camera on top, a camera on top. Oh, let me draw the camera properly okay a camera on top and then one on the side so we'll say uh, two cameras will be good for for this project so one and two the one on the top will check the length of the cow and how wide the cow is and very important we uh now do not only need the object detection because the object detection will just tell you there is a cow here and you will see a bounding box of the cow but what about these empty spaces so object detection not good for this specific project i mean it's not enough i'm not saying that it's not good you will need something more advanced like a segmentation so you will need to an algorithm that will not only get the bounding box of the cow, but also the specific segmentation. So the exact boundaries of the cow so that you don't get any specific area that it's not the cow. So let's say that we're getting this position, this right here. So you have now from the uh, from this camera you have like the length you have you have the length of the cow but also like you have the specific area of how wide the cow is so it's not straight there is some curve uh, right here with the side camera uh, it's something that we don't see for this cow but you can see how big is i would say the belly like this part right here and how far is from the bottom so that you see all the three different measurements that you need um, for this uh, so that you can measure like the waist of the cow so we have like the lower point of the chest we have the top and with this uh, it's possible to measure correctly with a good accuracy also the waist of the cow this can be done again 
with different animals it's not only the cow you could do this also with the pigs so i'm thinking these are probably the, the animals that uh, you need to measure the most at least for their for their size and so this is about weight measurement let's now check the fourth project idea the fourth one will be a project let's say for safety reason where you want to check if an expected animal is entering a forbidden area and i'm going to give an example with this area that we have right here again how you could approach the problem so in this camera right here our program could uh, have a design forbidden area let's say that we draw an area with this red sign so i'm taking like the boundaries of this location so this is the forbidden area the red one so on the uh, right side you see this right here it's a forest so it's normal that animals are here but we don't want let's say that we don't want animals to jump inside so by selecting a forbidden area as i'm doing right here so let's go up also to this point like this our program called detect in real time an animal if some animal could be a fox could be a dog could be wild pig probably wild pig would be uh, the worst in this case uh, if the animal from so if the animal is, is in this side let's say an animal is detected here wild pig nothing happens if the animals cross and go to this side so if we see an, a wild pig in this area we could check again we have the area so we know this is the forbidden area we have a red polygon if the detected object is inside the red polygon this could send an alarm to again it could be sms system could be phone call so you could integrate this somehow with uh, with some system to give you an alert in real time could be again also whatsapp or like telegram whatever connected through internet to an alarm system you receive in real time that there is some animal and so you can take like the action that you need to take when this happens so we saw four different type of projects one very simple to count the animals the second to check the animal behavior the third to weight the animal with computer vision instead of using a scale and the fourth for security reason to check if someone is like in this case animal is coming in an uh, unexpected like forbidden area let me know if you have any questions about these four projects right here or if you have any other ideas please put a comment down below and let me know this is all for this video See you in the next one.